The way that we get past that is by ex experiencing in a solidarity sense. What is happening? What, ha what happened to my neighbor, Ahmed, that's lived here for 14 years, and all of a sudden, he's not there anymore. He's gone. He was suspected. He had a cousin. He gave money to an organization, whatever. It's in that connection of what's happening to individual people that we learn to break down those bars that are imprisoning us in our own myopic vision of what our way of life is and what America is. Eric was compelling in the images that he shared of what happens to his own housemates in the struggles that they went through in living in Latin America and what he experienced on the delegation when they went to Colombia and what I'm sure many of you have experienced when you crossed those borders and went to the other side and lived and experienced what are people here experiencing. That is the most compelling way, I think, out of the prison that we've all erected for ourselves. And then we think about the Middle East. Something very, very important that Herm said to take up this afternoon was the idea of creating parish twinning programs with par Palestinian Christian parishes and the idea of setting up sister city relationships. Again, for me, that is exactly where I think we're called to be because again, it exposes us to the realities of the other in a way that we can no longer deny, deny what's happening, deny our own complicity in that. Ultimately for me, the driving force under the surface of globalization is a very old force and it's called racism. Racism is the ultimate definition of other. It's the easiest, the oldest, the most powerful way that we separate ourselves from one another. Because it's literally in your face. I'm part of an anti-racism team that Pax Christi created here to deal with the racisms that we all practice within Pax Christi as we do our peacemaking. So is Kathy. But what I've also learned in my travels in other nations and other cultures is that racism is so vibrant almost everywhere you can imagine. And it gets to the point of such subtleties as, well, there are folks from northern Italy who are lighter skinned and folks from southern Italy who are darker skinned. There are northern Europeans who are lighter skinned, and there are southern Europeans in Portugal and Spain who are darker skinned. And when you look at the, the you know, you look at the European Union and look at the at, at what the economic benefactor benefiters are and the economic losers are, it breaks down almost exactly along those lines. In Israel itself, you have. Ashkelani Jews from Europe and you have Occidental Jews from Asia. Some have more right, some are more Jewish than others. And they break it down along who is more worthy and who is less worthy based on your skin tone, based on your ethnicity. The wars that we've experienced, confronted, challenged over the, in the 1990s in Yugoslavia were ethnic wars based in, in, in racist assumptions about the other. As we in Pax Christi struggle to make sense of this moment in time, as we struggle to find a way for us to express our outrage 
as we struggle to find a way to act positively in a situation that seems overwhelmingly negative. We have some powerful tools. We have some powerful tools, and they're the same tools we've had for a long time. They're the gospel mandates to love one another and to do unto others as we would have done. Nonviolence is about right relationships. Gospel nonviolence is about the relationships between ourselves and each other, between ourselves and our God, and between ourselves and the creation in which we're embedded. These guiding principles, values, that we as Pax Christi espouse are the rudder that help us navigate even the most complex and intractable problems. And without falling into the trap of the Bushies and the Reaganites that takes complex problems and offers simple solutions and simple answers, we have a more rooted answer, a more rooted understanding and analysis that helps to guide us in our approach. And I would say as we go into these workshops this afternoon to start to struggle with what are we going to do, you know? We are about prayer, study, and action in Pax Christi. This afternoon we're going to talk about action. What do we do as local groups, as individuals, as parishes, as school communities, as Pax Christi groups? How do we do something positive? The word I want you to keep remembering is solidarity. That is the way that we will be saved. That is the path to our own salvation is through experience and through becoming in relationship with the others, whether they be of another race, another ethnicity, another way of life, another nation, another culture. And that need not be 6,000 miles away. It may be even more important to develop those kind of solidarity relationships with the people who live on the other side of LA as the other side of the world. But fundamentally, the whole struggle in postmodern terms is about people exerting their own humanity to regain some autonomy against those forces that would otherwise impose more order, more control over the lives of people. And whether that be as violent as the repression that we've witnessed and heard about from Bolivia to Central America, to the prison systems, or whether it be more subtle by handing you a remote control with 187 choices to dull your mind and, and, and divert your thought. It's still about controlling the narrative. As we learn to become in relationship with others, we, gain a re, uh, we regain control of our own narrative. That is ultimately, I believe, what will prevail in the struggle between postmodernism, control versus autonomy. And we in Pax Christi have a global network, a global network of Catholic peacemakers who have a shared Catholic identity and values, all committed to the same fundamental principle of enacting and living out Catholic social teaching, whether it be here, or in Palestine, or in Iraq, or in um, Eastern Europe, Belgium, Ireland, India, Pakistan. And I just want to put it out there that we have the ability to connect people through this global network, so that should you want to become involved in relationship 